Good Saturday morning. It is 646. We missed a storm. It's offshore. It did give the Cape and the islands some snow. We didn't have to worry about that, but the wind on the back side of it is something that is going to influence our weather today. You'll notice a howling wind today, but this storm system scoots off to the north and to the east goes away. And then you look farther to the west and gee, there's a lot of clear sky out there and that is going to give us nice weather for today, tomorrow and Monday. So we got three days worth of good weather as we look to the west. So that's the good news in the forecast. Today, the wind and the slightly cooler temperatures may be a little bit of a downer for you, but by tomorrow, I think it'll be feeling a little bit more like spring, actually. Let's go full screen of the temperatures so you can see them a little bit more clearly that we've got readings in the 30s. We have 37 in Hartford, 37 in New Haven, 31 in Putnam. Notice in northwestern Connecticut it is slightly cooler and contradicting what I said when it's in the 20s there. With the wind, it feels even colder. Our future cast does suggest that later on this afternoon we'll see highs in the low to mid 40s in most towns, but there'll be a few areas like the hills of northeastern and northwestern Connecticut that might actually see through most of the day highs or actually temperatures in the middle and upper 30s. For most of the day, we probably will see, especially in northeastern Connecticut, at least at the high, highest point, them touching right on 40. But um, overall, it is going to be a cool day. And when you factor in the wind as well, uh, the wind chills will be even colder. Probably the wind chills will be maybe about 30 or so even this afternoon. Then tomorrow, I just wanted to push Futurecast forward and just show you where it's taking the temperatures tomorrow. It's going well in the 50s, especially away from the water. So tomorrow will feel good. So today will be the colder day. This is our official forecast. We're looking for 44 in Hartford, 45 in New Haven, 44 in Willimantic, but notice that 39 in Salisbury. There's going to be a strong north to northwesterly wind, sometimes gusting to 30 to 40 miles an hour. And there is going to be increasingly sunny skies. We have a lot of clouds out there in some towns this morning. Those are going to scoot away. So we're expecting to see more sun by the afternoon. With the dry air and the strong wind today, there is an elevated fire risk that if there is a fire set today, it could spread more easily. So take caution and care with any open flames that you might be dealing with today and avoid it if you can. Then overnight tonight will be colder with temperatures running in the 20s with partly to mostly clear skies. Notice how Futurecast uh, keeps it partly to mostly clear or suggests partly to mostly clear skies developing by around midday today. And then in the afternoon, here's three, here's all the way through six o'clock, we're looking at good weather. Incidentally, tonight daylight saving time starts. And what does that mean? Well, it's when we have to push the clocks forward an hour, you lose an hour of sleep, but that also means that sunset will happen later. So tomorrow, it's going to, in several ways, feel a little bit more like spring. Not only will we have a later sunset, but it will be warmer. Temperatures will be running in the mid 50s inland, 52 along the shoreline tomorrow with lots of sun. Monday will be even better. It'll be breezy with partly to mostly sunny skies. Mid to upper 60s are expected Monday inland, 50s along the shoreline. We'll have a slight cool down Tuesday as clouds come in. Showers will arrive late, probably after dinner, I think, Tuesday. But the increase in cloud covers will suspend the temperature rise a little bit. Mid 50s to around 60 Tuesday. And then Wednesday, you can see there a slight drop off with temperatures is expected, but still going to be in the mid 50s Wednesday before a little system early Thursday might bring us some rain and snow showers. And some models are saying there might be enough punch of snow in some of the highest hills that when you wake up Thursday morning, it might be a light coating on the grass. Oh, okay. So ups and downs, very yeah. spring-like weather yeah. for New England. So that's what we're expecting. 